psychopathy, despair, delusions? That's right, we're coming back to Kaiser Redux. America requires a new course to be saved. With the cooperation of the Hoover administration with the socialist and other extremist parties, they gained significant leverage in America's upcoming elections. And this November would decide the future of this nation. A combination of summer heat and riots in the cities has led to bloody racial riots along the streets of our cities. Hoover decided to promote the industrial build-out in Tennessee. This turned out to be a massive mistake as the socialists gained massive support from the workers in those new industrial plants. And in the same vein, he decided to give the contract for new shipyards to Corpus Christ, giving yet more support to the Socialist Party of America. Canada refuses to pay their debts? Don't worry Canada, I will come after you later. Believe that! And now, the 1936 presidential elections have arrived. The results are finally in, from what has probably been the most ideologically contested presidential elections the United States has ever witnessed. And the socialists now rule America. Both the British Isles and France have fallen the scourge of totalism. We have to act quickly before the nation collapses. Yes, any day now. Oh god, the military is intervening. The revolution has begun. Stand by the workers. Yes, no! There have been economists throughout history that have asked How do you solve an economic crisis? Do you centralize or decentralize the economy more? Do you impose tariffs, remove them? The answer to all of those above is no. The answer to our economic problems is to have a civil war because that instantly removes the Great Depression and the Berlin stock market crash instantly. Here we long, your ass is ours. And we managed to hold New York, baby. And the second American civil war begins. And we are being pushed from all sides. And after suffering 1.5 million casualties on both sides, we have won and have reunified America. Syndicalist victory in the Civil War, you're damn right. And now we will hold the second constitutional convention. America's spirit of freedom and justice may have been subjugated for long enough by the capitalist scum. But now, America will prosper as it always should have, under liberty and prosperity. And with great sorrow, we announce William Big Hill Haywood has passed away after suffering a stroke. His death has shaken the country to its core. Now, we shall choose our next leader. In the 1940 election, who shall rule America? And we will keep our capital in the city of the Rust Belt, Chicago. And on the final day of the Congress, James Borhan pulls through. Now we will have to redistribute the wealth throughout the nation. We will not only pursue the liberation of our brave women that work in our factories during the Civil War, but of a total social revolution that breaks all the chains of corruption, racism and chauvinism that have been bonding America for so long. No more, I tell you. I'm sorry Cuba, but you are syndicalist and I am totalist. We are not the same body. It seems like the Third International is losing the German faction. There are those that say that legal equality is enough to compensate for the centuries of oppression that millions of minorities in our countries have faced. But the truth is that anything short of criminalization of racism will fall short of what we want to achieve. Jim Crow is dead, felled by the mighty American proletariat. Redefine the nuclear family. And we will transform it from a marriage to a cohabitation. The Boy Scouts will be changed the pioneers of America organization which shall include both boys and girls. We will seize and arrest all members of the old Democratic Party in the South, which for more than a hundred years now have been fighting to suppress minorities. And we will soon mobilize 24 of these elite mountaineer divisions that shall partake in the destruction of the reactionary world order. 
and now we will slowly but surely integrate all the breakaway states. We will provide homes for all of the people of America and destroy the concept of housing being a commodity that can be bought and sold. It shall be enshrined as a human right. On this day, we announced that the reconstruction is finally over and the crimes of this once filthy nation have been washed away. Now America can truly be called a land of free, equal and prosperous laborers. Now a new America is born and in the making. Now we can finally pursue our political ambitions in 1942. Totalism pursues the total reconstruction of society, including its art. Out with the old, in with the new. The technocrats are right. We have to pursue realistic and efficient designs for our architecture. As Marx said, the means of production that the elite controlled will be seized and we will project our power outwards into the world. With the resources of the state geared towards military production, we shall move to destabilize the autocratic Canadian free state and free the workers of Quebecois. New national anthem. Hmm, I think I'll choose when Johnny comes marching home. I, I think I'll choose that one. It took me a bit of thinking to really decide if I should do that. The English Isles have been split and have been absorbed into the Reichspark. We will soon deal with this. To root out the capitalist spies, we will make sure to go after each individual that even slightly presents capitalist tendencies. To root out that scourge from its roots and move in to crush what remains of the old capitalist orders. Use the fear of a British intervention from Canada as a justification to use emergency powers, dispose of counter-revolutionaries and finally bring in the technocratic dream. And we'll of course send great aid to the Canadian rebels. And they did what they declared war on me? This was a big mistake. Now we will swiftly deal with them. We will give the technocrats their claims on Canada. Of course, now we can finally mobilize our economy and population for this great patriotic war. Now the technocratic army stands at 3.2 million soldiers and will crush the reactionaries of the world. Through the power of technocracy, we have instantly gained control of the Northwest Territories. Yes, and they are rebelling to us. And these are our core territories. Oh, that's interesting. I just prepared a naval invasion to go over here, but I just realized that the French are just able to go through this crossing. There they go. Ceasefire with the Entente. No. All able-bodied citizens are to contribute to their nation. Workers are to be categorized into one of seven classes that will decide their work schedules and obliges them to work upon finishing their education as organized by their managers. And the Entente is officially defeated. And we have set up the Portuguese Socialist Republic. Now we will crush Mexico. You're damn right we have awoken. Female auxiliaries? Sure, women should have an equal right to men to die on the front line. With our internal enemies decimated and our economy restructured, the president can now take his true title of founder Burnham. Now, we are known as the social technique of America and we rule this land together. My dude, if you don't want to look evil, don't wear such a cap. Come on. Man. Let's finally push the reactionaries out of England and free the workers of this nation. 16 hour work week? Do it! We have also learned that in Ireland, on to the next step. Europe. World revolution, damn right. Let's land in Normandy. Bring the whole army in Europe. Our advance is swift and our determination unmatched. And we have defeated the Reichsmark. And we won. And there goes Germany. Now let's just declare war on Yugoslavia. In light of recent events, I think it is in order to say that having any kind of mercy or justifying on other nations is merely giving them time to react. Let's finally clean up the mess that is Spain. Spain truly is Spain. They, and we will just declare a few wars and just tell everyone to go. And of course Burnham will be on Mount Rushmore. Are you crazy? Next to Lincoln of course. Next we go into the Balkans and declare war on Bulgaria on the way and go after the Poles too. Me watching as 3 million Americans descend upon my country destroying every inch of it with artillery.
Yeah, they have like four divisions to protect uh, the homeland. Quite a lot, if you ask me. You, usually they don't have any at all. Never mind, it's just one division now. And there goes Japan finally. Right now, I have 162 million manpower. We are getting up there. I want Guantanamo Bay back. Yup, there goes Cuba. Finally. What the hell just happened? Everything just collapsed. Oh, they're just puppets, okay. I don't want to go through the Amazons. Please, I don't want to go through these corridors. Neu Schwabenland. Oh my god, the third German Antarctic expedition. Okay, we have to find out what this is about. Debug. I have to know, what is in Neu Schwabenland? Captain Richard and his crew will continue to explore German territories in Antarctica, survey resources and establishing bases. It seems like there was nothing in Neu Schwabenland. It seems like it was all okay. Let's land on this tip of Antarctica. Alfred Richard, let me put you out of your misery. Quite funny how this is the last place at the bottom of the world that gets conquered by the technate of America. And there they go. Supply status 20, 10, 0, 1%. I've just sent 76,000 people to die in Antarctica. That's nice. I am happy to announce that every man, woman and child of this world have been liberated by the social technate of America. And now we shall together as a species move forward into true technocracy and no worker in the world shall ever be subjugated again thank you for wait wait what is that what the hell is that what the hell is that